How's it going everyone? Good? Well, that's great. Now wasting no time, let's get right into it. Do you have an old 5.1 surround sound system that you can't connect to your TV or media box because your TV or media box only has optical or coaxial digital audio out? Well, do I have a solution for you. You can buy these cheap 5.1 DACs off Amazon or eBay, but people claim they're not a true 5.1 processor and more or less just decode a stereo signal and then try to mock a 5.1 signal, if that makes any sense. So for true 5.1, you're going to need one of these. This is a digital surround processor. This one in particular is a Technics SH-AC500D and made anywhere from 1998 to 2005. I believe. Don't take my word for it. I picked this one up off eBay for $87 and it is capable of processing a 24 bit a second signal at 48 kilohertz across six channels. You can use DTS, digital theater systems, or Dolby Digital, and also stereo mode too. This has two optical audio inputs and two coaxial inputs, along with all the important 5.1 channel outputs for my Logitech Z506 surround sound system. The cables I'm using are your standard 3.5mm audio cable with RCA adapters to connect them to the processor. Connecting it up is pretty self-explanatory but is worth going over. On the back of your sub, wherever your 6 channel inputs are, you're going to plug the center satellite and subwoofer cable into the orange input, then the front left and right satellites into the green input. And for the rear left and right, you're going to want to plug into the black input. Now to the back of the processor, connect the cables to the same channels as the ones on the sub for the center and subwoofer channels on the RCA hookups. The subwoofer is usually red and the center channel is usually white. This separate amplifier you see me hooking up is for my rear surround speakers. I decided to use a separate amplifier for the rear surround speakers instead of using the built-in amplifier on the subwoofer. Now for the digital inputs. This coax cable is being used to connect my cable box to the surround processor and I'm using a Toslink cable, also known as an optical audio cable, to connect this processor to my Xbox instead of running it up the wall and connecting it to my TV. And just like that, our surround sound system can now be used with modern TVs and digital audio outputs. Now for some additional information, this specific digital processor has a few settings. You can adjust the size of your speakers to large or small. On large, it will give them a full range audio signal and on small, it will high pass the selected satellite speakers. Or you can turn off certain speakers like the subwoofer, the center channel, or the rear surround speakers. And this is just a quick look at the location of the rear surround speakers amplifier and the Xbox. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now I can enjoy movies, TV, and video games too in 5.1 Surround. Up next is a quick little sound test featuring the beginning of Despicable Me 2. And yes, the subwoofer isn't the best, but that issue is being addressed in an upcoming video. So look out for that. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.